December the 10th. How fabulous. Just so everybody knows, um, we are using the Divine Animals deck. Ooh, the Snow Leopard. Watch her. Love it. The Romance Angels and the Legacy of the Divine. Wedding. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to split this deck and we're going to get rolling. But before we do that, I would just like to welcome everybody. Welcome welcome to my VIP members. Welcome to the subscribers. Welcome to uh, the rest of you as well. Those of you that are repeat viewers and those of you that are new viewers. Always happy to have all of you here. All right. So we have the Ace of Wands. Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, the Chariot, and the Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords. I'm taking it out because we ha have two aces. Ooh, celebration, reunion. Celebration and reunion is on the bottom, interesting. So, uh, with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands here, this is very interesting because I haven't been taking from the bottom of the deck except for yesterday and then today with regards to energy, right? The energy is a new beginning. It's a brand new beginning. Brand new beginning. A new beginning in communication, a new beginning that's passionate, that's full of creativity. Um, it's, it's very exciting. Now, the focus seems to be on spiritual matters, really. This watcher is a spirit guide watching over the situation, and that's in our focus position. So, this, this is a, a spread that I've created for this purpose, for these dailies. And so um, the watcher, it could be that you're receiving some sort of spiritual guidance on this new beginning, on wanting this new beginning, on moving towards this new beginning. And the theme is somebody's getting away from something else. Look at that. Seven of Swords. Somebody's sneaking away from something else to have this new beginning. Somebody's leaving something to have this new beginning. Now, although we do have the wedding card over here, this could just be a focus on, you know, if this is romantic, that this is somebody you could be married to. If it's not somebody that you're married to and this is romantic, it could be that, you know, you're wanting a new beginning with somebody you see as your long-term companion, your long-term partner. Wedding could also very simply be that there's a big gathering, a big, a big, um, a big focus on that gathering. It also could be with the Seven of Swords and the wedding card that somebody's sneaking away from an engagement. Like, no, not, not going to happen. Lack of commitment. Because we have uh, the man on this particular card is looking straight ahead like a deer in the headlights while the, the lady's looking over at him like, ooh, hello. <laughs> so it could be somebody has a fear of commitment and they're choosing to walk away from a long-term partner. That's possible as well. So that's just addressing the romance card. But this particular card indicates that there's some sort of spirit involvement, some sort of spirit direction and guidance that's occurring here. Now, the Four of Wands in the challenge position, this could be Twin Flames. The challenge could be Twin Flames coming to a point of togetherness. The challenge could also just very simply be that you are dissatisfied where you are. Dissatisfied where you are and are wanting to make a change. The dissatisfaction is winning out and you want something new. But I feel that if that's the case, you're also being guided towards something new, towards a new direction. I and mean, right here in your advice, you're being told, get on the move, get going, 
Keep going to your new beginning. It's right here. It's right here. You have that opportunity if you take it now. And then what, what our outcome is, is communication. Communication that comes in or goes out very rapidly. There feels like there's a sense of urgency here because we have two new beginnings, right? Two, two cards of a new beginning. And it feels like there's a sense of urgency. It's like, I have to get out of this like now because I'm terribly dissatisfied. And this team of horses moving really fast. It's like spirit here with the watcher and the chariot is saying, get a move on, get a move on girl, get a move on boy, let's get going, right? So it's like spirit is saying, get going. What are you delaying on? Why are you, why are you tarrying when you're so dissatisfied and unhappy? I am feeling somebody saying, that's not an unhappy card, blah, blah, blah. This is our challenge position. So technically this card is actually in the reverse. So for whomever logged in late, just letting you know. <laughs> just rewind back a little bit, please, my dear. <laughs> All right, so um, ultimately I see a new beginning, a new beginning in communication with the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords, a new beginning of passion with the Ace of Wands, could be a creative epiphany that comes to you about this forward movement, but it looks like somebody is leaving something that is no longer making them happy and they're moving towards a brand new start, a brand new beginning where they are going to be happy. Completely spirit led communication. Signs I see on the board, obviously we're gonna have quite a few here, so we're not gonna name them off because we just have six right here in this two cards. Um, so pretty much just know that this can apply to anybody. As always, love and light to you all, and we shall see you again soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings, and I love to be able to connect with you energetically, so don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.